So Mickey Hart becomes the Derry senior football manager. What on earth? How on earth has that happened? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I feel like I'm in a different universe or something. I feel like when I seen the news and I heard the news, I was a bit like, Mickey Hart to Derry. I feel like it's... If you're a Tron fan, it's probably like something, you know, you're having a bad dream, you're reminiscing about all those good times, and now all of a sudden you see Mickey Hart joining your bitter rivals, and even for myself, it's a bit like, wow, that is, that is very, very surprising. Like, don't get me wrong, Mickey Hart is one of the greatest managers in the history of Gaelic football, in my opinion. What he achieved with Tyrone winning those three All-Orleans, um, he's nothing short of remarkable in terms of a coach, a manager... And even the job he done with Loud in the three seasons he was there, I think goes to show how good of a manager he is. And uh, he still has it, in my opinion. He, he clearly still has it. I think towards the end of Tyrone, I think it was the right decision to move him on and, and make the changes because things had gone stale. I think when you are somewhere for too long, things can happen. You need a reset. You need a change. There, you know, there was a lot of politics going on with Mickey Hart and Tyrone as well. There was a lot of things behind the scenes, problems with the county board, players not wanting to play for Mickey, Mickey not wanting to select certain players. And to be honest with you, some of that is even still carrying on right now with Tyrone and their current management. And in some ways, you'd actually arguably say it's worse, even though Tyrone won the All-Ireland under this management pairing a couple of years ago. But wow, just absolutely mental. I was recording the stream last night, the club review show, with Seamus Brady, Yvonne Cliha, and the news broke while we were doing the stream. So if you want to see my instant reaction as such, skip to about 20 minutes into that stream. But I wanted to make another video on it. I wanted to discuss it more just with the fact that it's not officially confirmed, although Loud GEA decided that they would go ahead and confirm it for us. A little bit bizarre. I don't think I've ever seen another county confirm another county's managerial appointments. Uh, you kind of wonder if Derry will confirm Loud's manager maybe in the next week or so. But... Uh, yeah, a little, little bit odd. It kind of reminded me, like, it was almost like as if whoever was writing that tweet was just furious that Mickey Hart was leaving. And he was like, yeah, he's he's going to the Derry Senior Footballers. Yeah, yeah, you know, definitely a bit of, uh, you know, definitely a slight bit of bitterness maybe I got from that. Um, and I'm not entirely sure if Loud were supposed to do that um, because it, you know, hasn't been confirmed as of right now by Derry. By the time this video is out, it probably has been confirmed but it hasn't been confirmed. So anyway, let's discuss the title of this video. Can Mickey Hart win the all Ireland with Derry? Now, a couple of weeks ago, I made a video titled Why Derry Can Win the all Ireland in 2024. I nearly might as well delete that video now because it's um, not that I still think Derry can win the all Ireland, but like a lot of the points made in that video are, you know, obviously without knowing that Mickey Hart was going to become the manager, it makes that video somewhat null and void in some ways. But wow, like Mickey Hart coming in and do you know what? Like, as I said a couple of weeks ago, in term, like Derry are for me, if, if Dublin and Kerry aren't at it next year or they mess up or anything like that, Derry are the next team in line. Like there's absolutely no question about it in my opinion. I think Derry proved with how competitive they were versus Kerry that... Look, they're not a million miles off. They're not a million miles off winning this All Ireland. Dublin, look, even as a Dublin fan, you know, I've mentioned previous, I was absolutely over the moon with that All Ireland win last season. An incredible achievement. You know, it will go. It will be something I remember for a long, long time. And you know, it's hugely memorable. But you did get the feeling, even from speaking to Dublin fans, speaking to fans before the game and even after the game, there was a very last dance type feel to that Dublin All Ireland win. Not that they don't win it this year or next year or even the year after that, but the underage certainly isn't the same as it was a couple of years ago, and I do think there's going to be even more so of a transition over the next couple of seasons, you know, Cluxton's not going to be around forever, McCarthy's going to have to retire at some point, Rock is going to have to retire, and you look at what's coming through, and I'm not too sure it's the same, so that allows a team like Derry, whose underage is very, very good right now, you know, they're, they're winning all Ireland at minor level, they're progressing at under 20 level, I know they didn't get a Ulster this year, but you know, down are very good in fairness. They've a lot of very, very good players at underage level, and we're seeing some of those players making the step up into the Derry senior footballers, the likes of Ethan Doherty, the likes of Owen McAvoy. You've obviously got, look, the experience of Shane McGuigan, Chrissy McCaig, Connor Glass, all these lads already in there, but you've got good run underage coming through. Look, Kerry, in terms of the overall all Ireland picture, Kerry are going to be there. There's absolutely no doubt about it. They're not going anywhere anytime soon. And in my opinion, they will still be the side that dominates this decade in terms of all Ireland wins. But I look at Derry and I think, for Mickey Hart in particular, 
I think he can do it. I think he can. Look, he's not going to Derry to not win the All-Ireland. Do you know what I mean? He doesn't leave Loud and join Tyrone's bitterest rivals. And we'll discuss that in a few minutes, by the way. He doesn't leave Loud to go to Derry and join Tyrone's bitter rivals to not win the All-Ireland. Like, that's it. He's going there. Within two seasons, if he doesn't win the All-Ireland, he leaves. Do you know? Like, that's basically what it is. And I think Derry... The Derry County Board have looked at it and thought, you know, we've got a golden generation of players here and we need to capitalise on it. We need to win that All-Ireland. We need to get the best out of what we have right now and we need to capitalise on it. And fair play to them because when you look at Derry overall, and I made a video last year discussing how Derry won their first Ulster title in 24 years, I think it was, and how they came about doing that. But it is important to know, if you look through the history of Derry football, they haven't always, like, it's not like... I know Tyrone, to be fair, pre-2000 were probably similar in some ways to Derry. Obviously, you know, Tyrone didn't win an All-Ireland in that decade. Derry did. But you, you look at Derry and you look through the history in terms of what, they, what they've what they had, they haven't always produced top-quality footballers. Like, the 90s was a golden era and right now is a golden era. True to the 2000s, don't get me wrong, they had a few good players, but it was nowhere near the levels of what they have now. The 2010s as well, obviously some of those players were actually around back then as well, but generally it wasn't the same as what they have right now. And even with the players coming through at underage level, you would say there's a lot of talent brewing in Derry right now. So they need to capitalise on it. And I think they've gone out and looked at it and thought, who is the best manager that we can get in that can win us that All-Ireland? And Mickey Hart was, was probably the best choice when you looked at it. I think, look, was Mickey Hart desperate to leave Loud I don't necessarily think that he was but I think he's looked at it and thought you know three seasons at Loud he's took them from division four to third place in division two a Leinster final realistically I don't know if there's more that Mickey Hart can do as manager of the Loud senior footballers and that's not a criticism to Loud but again we look at Loud football overall and we think what more can he do there's no real underage coming through there he's got a couple of great players but can he can he improve can he improve on Loud from last season? You wouldn't put it past them. But again, like can Loud get up to Division One? I'm not too sure. They're not going to win a Leinster Championship anytime real you know, right now, realistically. So I think he's looked at it and thought, when the offers come in from Derry, he's thought, what what an opportunity to win another All Ireland in his career, a fourth All Ireland, and become the first manager to win an All Ireland with two different counties which has never been done before. So, at least, you know, in terms of senior football. So, that would be remarkable. And, of course, there are a lot of facets to this appointment. And I'm very curious to know what Tyrone fans think about this one. And I know there's plenty of Tyrone fans who often tune into this channel sometimes to, uh, you know, not leave nice comments. But uh, and I'm, I, I'd imagine you're probably not going to leave too many nice comments this time around. But probably not towards me. Or maybe it will be. I don't know. But, um Mickey Hart joining Derry. I mean, how do you feel about that? Your most successful manager in your history joining your bitter rivals. Do you know, like, that's... That is not good. You know, if you're a Tyrone fan, like, how does... Like, don't get me wrong. Does it tarnish the legacy? Maybe slightly, but at the same time, for what he achieved with Tyrone winning three All-Irelands, it's... You know, like, I know for myself as a Dublin fan, if Jim Gavin, let's say... I think him joining Mead or Kildare, I think is it's in a different context because Mead and Kildare are not at the same level as Derry. Do you know what I mean? But if Jim Gavin, let's say, joined Kerry or joined Mayo, who I would consider probably two, Dublin's two biggest rivals in the sense that, or even Tyrone, let's say, even Tyrone maybe as well. If Jim Gavin was to join one of them, I would be hurt. But at the same time, I would look at it and think what he brought to Dublin was nothing short of remarkable. And he'll always have a soft spot in my heart and he'll always be... You know, I, I wouldn't lose any respect for him personally if he went and done that. I would find it a little bit strange, but at the same time, I wouldn't lose any respect for him because of that. And I would imagine maybe some Tyrone fans feel the same, but at the same time, there probably is that essence of... Definitely probably is some Tyrone fans who are very upset. I've seen Eminem Mulligan tweet about it, saying that he only got back speaking to him and now he goes and does that. And I think probably the most bitter... Or probably the bitter pill to swallow, in my opinion, is a lot of Tyrone fans didn't want their current management to stick around and Fergal Logan and Brian Dewher. If Fergal Logan and Brian Dewher left, could the Tyrone management position been available for Mickey Hart? I think he would have gone back there if he got an offer. Would the county board have gone back to him? Probably not. But I I think he you know, I think he could have came in and done a job there. 
Um, but it's very interesting. Does Mickey Hart win the All Ireland with Derry? That's the question. Look, uh, as I said in a in a previous video, I think Derry are you know if they don't win the All Ireland next year, twenty twenty five, I I would start to question whether they will win it in this decade. But I think they have the players to do it. I think Dublin are slowing down. Kerry will be there. Mayo have their inconsistencies. Toronto have their inconsistencies. You know, you've got other teams knocking about like Roscommon, Armagh, Monaghan, Donegal maybe with Jim McGuinness who won't be a million miles away. But Derry are in the prime position. Like they have the advantage. If this was a, a race right now, Derry are already in front because of what they've done in the last couple of seasons and because of the players that they have available to them as well. And look, Shane McGuigan, Chrissy McKay, Connor Glass, these lads, like they are, you know, they've been around a while now. So there, there will be a, a slight decline maybe of those players like in gradual time, not ne next year or the year after that, but in gradual time, there might be a decline of some of those players. So that's why I think they've gone out and said, you know what, we need to capitalize on what we have, the players that we have, go and get Mickey Hart and he should be able to do the, the business and deliver us the all Ireland championship but let me know your thoughts your opinions in the comments down below i think there's i think it is quite harsh and kieran mina as well who i'm surprised you know i'm not necessarily that surprised that uh, mickey hart chose to go to Derry, but i am a bit surprised that Derry decided to cut ties with kieran mina you know obviously gavin devlin's coming in as the assistant to mickey hart so where does kieran mina fit into this i'm not entirely sure I think the work that he'd done with Derry this season after everything that happened with Rory Gallagher, I thought was, you know, commendable. The fact that he was still able to get those lads to an Ulster title, still get them to an All Ireland semi final, and the performance they put in against Kerry as well, you know, I think it's it's forgotten that Derry switched up their play against Kerry in that semi finals and they played attack and football. Will they do that under Mickey Hart? You know, there's gonna be you know, it's going to be going back ever so slightly to real rigid defensive football. Will that be enough for Derry? I don't know. I think they do need to mix it up a bit. But look, there's no better man in fairness than Mickey Hart to go and do that. So it's, I'm a little bit surprised by that. That, you know, where does Kieran Mina fit into this? Um, and what happens with Loud? You know, Loud obviously without a manager now. Um, I've seen Mickey Graham was announced as coming to Leitrim he's he's been a part he's going to be a part of Andy Moran's backroom team what what a coup by Leitrim by the way that is a serious appointment to get him in a part of your management ticket and a very very good decision from Andy Moran as well to get someone in with a huge amount of experience and they are certainly now one of the front runners for division four next season but I was surprised maybe Mickey Graham you know I think maybe if Loud, you know if this had happened a couple of days earlier I think you could have seen Mickey Graham go to Loud because it's not that much of a commute and um, it's I mean it's a it's a more of a commute than Leitrim, but it's it's you know it's still not too far. And I thought he would have been a, a great manager for Loud. Um, so what happens with Loud now? You know who 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 goes to them? I'm very curious to know what Loud supporters think in the comments down below as well. What happens to Loud football in general? You know, is this was this a golden era over the last couple of seasons? Did Mickey Hart really overachieve with this team? Are Loud now going to struggle and maybe find themselves back in Division Three? Um, or maybe the opposite happens, you know, maybe there's a bit of a siege mentality, maybe Loud want to prove to Mickey Hart and prove to everyone else that it's not just because of him, where they, you know, because of where they got to, so very, very fascinating, very interesting, Derry fans as well, let me know your thoughts, like, I'd imagine a lot of Derry fans would have grown up seeing Mickey Hart whip their big rivals in Tyrone, win all Orleans, Derry football was very much in the doldrums in the 2000s, they were getting nowhere near us or titles, all Orleans or anything of that nature, and they would have had to watch someone like Mickey Hart do it time and time again for Tyrone. So I'd imagine it's a little bit strange as well to see the enemy in some ways come to your county. But if he delivers the All-Ireland and he wins it, then happy days. But what I would say is there's big pressure now on Derry. There is big pressure on them to deliver next season and 2025. And I think within two seasons, if they don't win an All-Ireland, I think I don't think he's, he's still in charge. Because you don't bring Mickey Hart to Derry... To, to not win an All Ireland, you know what I mean. You don't bring someone in who had a huge amount of success with your bit of rivals to not win the All Ireland. So, and look, Derry, Derry would have been aspiring to win it anyways, even without Mickey Hart, considering where they've been in the last couple of seasons. But personally, I think he does do it. I think he does win the All Ireland. I think within two seasons, I think he will do it. But there's big pressure on him. There's big, big pressure on him, and um, it's going to be interesting to see. But yeah, so much to talk about this appointment, and um, I will have another video out tomorrow. 
looking at some social media reaction. Joe Brawley, not happy at all with this appointment. Owen Mulligan, not happy. A lot of people not happy with this. And um, yeah, curious to know your thoughts, your opinions. Tyrone, Derry, loud fans, neutral fans as well. What does this mean in the Ulster Championship for... You know, what do our mass supporters think of this? You know, you're going to have Jim McGuinness with Donegal, Mickey Hart with Derry. Like, Ulster is going to be absolutely stacked next season. And uh, Donegal versus Derry next season. McGuinness versus Mickey Hart. Who would have thought McGuinness versus Hart would happen in 2024 in the Ulster Championship, provided they meet each other? Not many would have saw that coming. Quite incredible. But, uh, yeah, leave a like, subscribe. Talk to you later.